Hey, welcome to Goddess with the Banto. So we're gonna continue with the previous episode and that we started to make our little village here and now we can actually collect some belief from our followers. So we're just gonna click these houses and we will be getting the belief. Kind of nice sound touch too when you're getting the belief. So we're gonna check here the card what we have been gotten. God of powers, cult and lad abodes. Follow upgrade. Follower, breeders who will generate belief. So we got this abode here which we want to upgrade and we can use one of these stone tools to upgrade it. You see, we need, we'll need two of those. I kind of chosen to use a mud bricks as well for it. So with this symbol that has to match what you want to upgrade. So now that we have upgraded we should get these mud huts. So now that we'll be able to build these mud huts instead of the previous one. And now we'll also like if you saw the previous episode, we couldn't shape the land with the grasses, but now we can actually do that because we have gathered some belief. And I want to use it to get this little chest inside here. What's inside? Ooh, more of these tools. Like a bow to send out the builder. So these tips is like... It's shown all the time. It's almost too much tips, but... It is a lot better than it used to be. Before it was like zero tips for what you can do. Let's see, we will also get some beliefs for chopping down some trees, and you can just hold down your mouse when you're doing this. Oh, another chest. So, social card. But this is really easy to spot them. I mean, this one is really obvious. You can even see the chest's top here. But you have to check for these, like, particle effects, like you can see here. Really, really easy to find them. And here's one of those shrines, which we can actually expand our region even further. And this shrine, I'm a bit unsure what it will do. It will be some kind of buff or something. I haven't actually built this one in the current beta phase of this game. But we can send out some more builders. So actually, we would want to get this one first. And then we can actually start building. I don't want to build on top of it. So that's nice. Oh, they are actually starting to build this one. So in five minutes, that one's going to be done. And we will see what the buffs or whatever we'll be getting from it. Another chest, awesome. I really like the sound from when you pick those up. I think it's really great made. Click on the boat to send out the builder. But it's nice, they, they ain't cutting back on the tips on this stuff here. One thing that I wish to be able to do, I don't know if you can do it later or something. But we got this like the standard shelters. This is the first building when you're starting out the civilization. These won't be giving any belief or anything, not at the moment at least, but it would be kind of cool if you can actually upgrade them or like destroy them in some way. So you see this flashing here, it wants us to check here, follow upgrade, follow the form friendships. So this is kind of cool that we actually form friendship between each other. All followers in world bonuses, confidence plus one. So what do we need? Obviously we need a social card to upgrade this one, so let's use one. 33, 66, 100. So now we unlock the follow upgrade here. So now they should form friendship between each other in my village. And I really, really want to expand this out, so I'm gonna have to reshape the land a lot to be able to fill in all these houses that I do want to have here. Sometimes you need to chop down like some trees like I'm doing now, and I also want to reach that chest there. Before it was actually very, very risky, like when it was shaping land, you can actually like wreck these already built houses really easy. You see here some, seems to be some friendship between those two. Yaki Bodel and Yama Mayberry. <laughs> Mayberry, yeah. Probably some normal uh, surname, I guess, but sounds kind of funny. Oh, I got another chest here. Another social one. Let's shut this down too. I want to grab all these chests because they're going to be very important and useful in the long run because we are going to need so many to upgrade all these new cards that we will be acquiring from increasing our population. So I think we should go down to... Oh, it's even deeper. But this sand, you see, it's not really a dragon unbelief from us, so... Sand you are freely to just shape around. 
least in the current beta you are totally free to shape around with the sand. We can send out some more to start building. Two minutes left on that one. Seems it's using free builders actually. And if you're watching this as the first episode of my series, I was talking about also that the game has changed so much since the previous alpha. So now it's not the same like click fest that it used to be in this game. Before it was really really click is fest you can actually imagine. It was just spamming your mouse and button and it was really boring. And they remade it from the ground so that's why it took so long for them to release this beta version. I actually think that they did release a uh, new version very recently again. I don't know if they have released it or, or if they have in like they're gonna release it very soon or what the show is to do with it. But I think we can upgrade another one. Followers pray to you 5% more belief capacity. So let's go inside and upgrade that one too. It's social ones. Yeah, you see I have so many cards so I'm prepared for the next one. Follower upgrade, build speed increase 50%. Need 60 followers. So I mean, that's gonna be nice, they're gonna move. Half their speed and bonuses that they do right now. So that's really great. You see, they're actually socializing here. Here's a breeder, and another breeder. Oh, this is in Mayberry again, and Agostini. I think we're gonna remove this one so they can actually leave people on the same level as that one. But we have no belief, but we should be able to check it out. 8 seconds left for more belief. And here we got 2 seconds, so soon it's gonna be, but I'm gonna click them when they all start to fill up. And these are not getting any belief at all. That's kind of boring, but... I should actually expand outside here, because this does not take any belief for me to, to shape this. So if I can get another house here, that would be really great, because it won't cost me anything and... I will get a bigger population. The sea that does cost sometimes, but it is when it's like very deep down in the ocean. So we can drag it in, so we can, yeah, we got at least one house there and can get the belief from these houses here. But if it is like it was before also, you can get like town centers and they will actually like gather all of the beliefs to one place instead of like, you have to click on every single house. Seems these guys are sleeping. 28 more seconds until that one's done. Seems like it's stuck. I guess they are. Yeah, they're getting to work now. So I guess they might have added some things so they actually go to bed and sleep and they can't work the entire day. That's kind of good. It make it more realistic. The one thing that I would wish more is to have my followers doing more work. Like they might be doing it later, but I would like them to like go saw down some trees, go shop in some mines. Have a, like a sheep farm and make cotton, make clothing and all kinds of things really. Let's see what happens now. So we're just gonna click this one. Leash power. God power. What can I do? Can I move him up? What do they mean? Your followers can only see so far around them and through leashing. You can direct them to anywhere within your influence. Show me. Leash the follower to empty plot. Lost follower. Help him. Help him. Click and hold on followers to lease him. Click and hold on follower to lease him. Doesn't they mean like this? Click and hold. Okay. I had to. A father can just hold and do that. So that is a kind of cool thing. Some because sometimes you might need to actually. Lease them to where they're gonna go. Click here to hold to lease a plot. So what would they? Okay, so they that is real nice. So that means that I might not need to have them living like very close, like I had in a previous one, where they would have to live close to be able to build like here. They couldn't build there, so then I might be able to just leash them over and start building a new village over here. So that is really really useful. Click and hold one follower. Did I fail on that one or what? Leash everyone else. 
I guess I was maybe just too fast. Oh, so I guess it's like similar to like when you drag down these trees and when you chop down money, you can actually do the same with villages. I mean, in a tactical strategic thing, that would be very crucially important to do if you're playing against another player. Remember to use a leash to get your followers to the place further away from they can see. Also try leeching to collect belief and to remove trees and rocks. That was really nice. So we are you're actually gonna try that one to see how it actually works. So I'm gonna build a house up here and I'm gonna send one of the builders. I'm gonna send him. Didn't even want to go. Maybe I need more uh, beliefs to actually do it. Let's try to get some more belief and we're gonna see if we can do this. Yeah, I guess it does require some beliefs to do this leashing here. Let's see what we got inside. Yeah, there's a build one. Let's see if we can upgrade it. Social one? Yeah, we have many of these. And this is done. So now he should move 50% faster than he used to do. That's really great. Click on the boat, send out the builder. But I mean, you shouldn't use it like all the time in the game. You just should use it when you can't reach a place you want to do something specific. But I mean, this guy, he didn't really need to use the leeching, leeching thing here. He could just have went here by himself and I wouldn't have lost any of his faith here, or belief as it's called. But you can see our village is expanding a little bit. That's gonna take 11 minutes to expand the next one. But guys, this was it for today of Goddess with me, Banto. If you liked this video, please subscribe for future content and like this video if you like it. Until next time, have a great day. This is Banto. Cheers, goodbye, and thanks for watching. Take care.